What's going on, Royal Alliance, and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront Hero Blast related video. Hero Blast is one of the game modes which is meant to be coming to Star Wars Battlefront, and at the moment it is currently surrounded in mystery and clouds and mist and all that other stuff. We now know a bit more about the mode, which EA DICE has yet to officially announce, thanks to Uninspired Zebra again, the data miner who previously found Hero Blast in the game files recently shared a few more details on the mode. First, you'll play as the same hero for the duration of the match. Before the game starts, each player is randomly assigned a hero to play as. It works like how heroes vs villains used to work. You'll get the you will play as dot 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 message instead of being able to select yourself. Once assigned a hero, you'll play as that hero for the duration of the game. When you die, you'll respawn as that same hero. While this does solve the problem of a single player quickly grabbing the same hero every time, it will unfortunately cause players to be stuck with a hero they might not fare well with. This could actually be a benefit as players will need to work outside their comfort zones and get used to other heroes that they may not normally use. Hopefully this will make you a better, more well-rounded player than just being good with one hero and crap with the rest basically. Another redditor also surmised that this means the hero bodyguards for Leia and Palpatine will be entirely absent, as Hero Blast doesn't seem to contain regular infantry. This probably is a pretty solid 110% guess that's probably going to be right if this is how this hero mode is going to work, because it would make no sense having weaker people in against heroes if it's just going to be a hero game mode, I guess. So this is pretty much a regular game of Blast, however it will have a kill limit of 50 instead of 100. No word yet on how long this game mode will actually go on for, but it could just keep the standard 10 minute time frame, which most of the smaller game modes actually have. Next up, all maps that feature regular Blast support Hero Blast. As Uninspired Zebra notes, this includes the Carbonite Freezing Chamber on Cloud City, which is really cool and I'm so glad we're going to get to see a load of heroes running around inside of that map because it is a cool map and it's a shame it's just kind of stuck on the standard best bin DLC game modes. Currently, including DLCs, there is about 20 maps which actually support the Blast game mode. So you're not exactly going to be only stuck on 5 maps and it's going to get really repetitive, it's going to change quite often and it's going to have a lot of variety with all of the maps that currently support Blast but are now going to support Hero Blast as well when that game mode arrives, if it ever arrives, because it, it might not ever arrive, really. Unfortunately, one thing which a lot of people are going to hate on is the fact that the DLC license for the mode is listed as Season Pass. Uninspired Zebra wrote, Unfortunately, it looks like people who individually bought the DLCs might be out of luck. We obviously don't know this for 100% fact, but it could be wrong, it could be right, I think, I'm not really sure how it's going to work, I'm, I don't know, this is kind of baffling me to be honest with you. I do hope this is just some sort of wrong wording in the game's code and I do hope it's going to be a free DLC or free update that's going to come to everybody in the game mode. The only thing is, if it is a free game mode that's going to come, a lot of people are going to be stuck with the base game heroes or the heroes that they've bought separately from the season pass but from the DLCs they've bought if that makes sense. But it is probably going to upset a lot of people if it is just purely for the season pass. As people who have bought individual DLCs will then have to go out and buy the season pass which is going to include the DLC they've already bought just so they can play Hero Blast. It's good that we're finally getting some more sort of news or leaks on this game mode because it went quiet for ages. It was kind of revealed that it was going to come. Everybody was so hyped and then it just died and the game mode kind of vanished into the mist that surrounds the mist that the mist is covering the game mode in, if that makes any sense. I think I'm just waffling. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this Hero Blast information that I have given to you, and what you think of Hero Blast as a whole. Smash a like on the video if you have enjoyed it, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance, and be kept up to date with all things Star Wars. Other than that, may the Force be with you all.